hello everyone hope like you are able to hear us if you are able to hear us then please let us know in the live chat box uh, hello everyone please let us know So finally, we are starting. Um, uh, good afternoon. Oh, sorry. Good evening, everyone. And uh, this is the Cold Fusion July quiz. Uh, so I hope like you are able to hear our voice as well as uh, the screen is properly visible since it's the first time we are doing a live uh, quiz session. So it's a bit difficult, you know. So we have been around uh, 24 minutes late, uh, no issues. We will be trying to move it fast, make it fast and not take much of your time. So let us know in the live chat box if it's everything is visible. Yeah, my bad. I said good afternoon at first. Okay, fine. So let's start. Um, so we can move to the rules page. Yeah, the rules of the quiz, 15 questions in total. And uh, questions from question number eight to question number 11. Yeah, so rules of the quiz, 15 questions in total. Questions from question number eight to question number 11 are stacked and will be used to resolve a time. And uh, first five correct answers will be considered. Since there are network issues, we, uh, we thought like to take uh, the first five correct answers since there might be network issues and, uh, and uh, we might get certain answers lately and everything is possible when it turns to be online. And uh, so we are kept keeping the scores uh, marking scheme as follows. So the first answer, it would be the one who gives the first answer that is correct answer that uh, he will be or he or she will be awarded 30 points. The second correct answer plus 25, third correct answer plus 20, uh, fourth correct uh, answer plus 10 and fifth correct answer plus five. Okay. Uh, and there will be no negatives. And uh, the quiz master's decision will be final and binding. And let's rock. So we can move to the next page. So the first answer comes here. And we need to answer in the live chat box as it is. it has, made, has been made clear that we need to answer in the live chat box. And with so many chats coming up, it seems like you all are well versed with this system. OK. So this is the first question. Cypress trees are symbols associated with death and mourning in Europe, mainly due to this myth of the Kyperesis, where he accidentally killed a stag and turned it into a tree. It has been often speculated that the presence of these trees in a famous artwork is said to symbolize the artist's uh, preoccupation with death and how he was repeatedly 
repeatedly reminded of death who or which art work so we need the we need the, both the answers no part points will be accepted uh, part answers will be accepted you need to answer both and uh, so i will be explaining it once once again so this these are cypress trees and these cypress trees are symbols as often associated with death and mourning uh, in europe mainly due to the uh, myth of capricorn where he accidentally killed a stag and uh, turned into a tree it has often been speculated that the presence of these trees in a famous artwork this is a famous artwork like uh, where this particular trees are shown and um, these trees are said to symbolize the artist's preoccupation with death and uh, how he was repeatedly reminded of death so i need the artist i need the name of the painting and one hint uh, at, at this moment is that this artwork was quite in the news in the last year with the death of certain of a certain person of a certain individual this painting was quite in the news not directly but you know some way somehow we are getting certain correct answers let's see if have, if we have got the first uh, five answers like first for correct five answers as i said no part answers will be accepted so many of you have written as um shakespeare yeah or some have written van gogh so please don't give uh, part answers like when it's uh, it is a like quiz where you need to give out both the answers then you need to give both you should give both the answers part points can be awarded but in case you need we need both the answers in this case so let's see the answers here okay so the answer has been displayed the answer is uh, vincent van gogh, van gogh and the starry night and i would be mentioning here how it was in the news last year so last year what happened is that uh, you we all know uh, shoshan singh rajput uh, nobody knows how actually he died but it is said to be a suicide suicide attempt so so when uh, it is said like he changed his twitter profile or cover photo into this painting which is a starry night and uh, how it was in the news uh, in the last year so we can move to the next question so one thing i would like to mention here is that we will be checking the answers after the quiz is over at last and you will be notified so we can move to the next question okay so identify this company which has its humble beginning to bellevue washington in the garage of the founders rental home back then the company used to be cancelled uh, sorry used to be called cadebra which anecdotally was changed after a lawyer misheard it as cadebra ever since then the company has grown and expanded and it is a household name today the founder has even surpassed a famous harvard dropout on a list everyone wants to be on so identify this company and the founder yeah there are pretty many answers and let's check the answer now it seems there has been certain network issues uh, let's see let's wait a minute
okay till the time the network comes back and we are back to the set uh let's uh have a discussion on certain things like if you want to ask something to us any questions anything you can put it in the chat box yeah uh, there has been certain network issues um uh, trying to solve it so i am just telling back yeah the one who is like uh, hosting this uh, platform his net is being uh, like a bit slow so let's wait like he's trying to refresh everything and come back no it's not exactly a science uh, fusion a science themed quiz it's a general quiz okay we are back with the set uh, let's begin uh can we move back to the so can i have the answer page please yeah uh, many of of you have answered it correctly it's amazon and jeff bezos uh and here it was mentioned like he has uh, surpassed a uh, harvard uh, this uh, drop out in a list everyone wants to be in it's bill gates and he has uh, jeff bezos has surpassed like had once surpassed um, bill gates to become the richest person in the world so let's move to the next question yeah the marking would be proper don't take tension uh, just one thing i would like to make it clear here is that uh, please give up both the way both the both the part of the answers like please don't give a single answer like if it like a, if a question carries two answers then please give both the answers yeah there are uh, many issues with the network what you can do is like you know and even it's the uh, it's being night time and so you know network issues so is a problem so is a bit of problem you know so let's uh, and even it's our first time so we need to adjust a bit accordingly we'll try to be like uh, better with the network the next time we uh, were back with this quiz like online quiz on youtube live stream so the third question yeah uh, so designed by chocling yoshioka the beautiful rose gold uh, beacon is made to resemble japan's most celebrated national flower the cherry blossoms for sakura uh, sorry for sakura in fact it's made using the name cutting edge technology as japan shinkansen bullet trains yoshioka also pays homage, homage to the heroic effort by those who had to Uh, rebuild their lives after the devastating earthquake and tsunami in 2011 it is made from a single sheet of uh, aluminium metal 30% of which is uh, recycled aluminium that was used for temporary housing units yoshiaka rebuilds cherry blossoms drawn by kids in the disaster hit area inspired uh, me like he says that 
so like what purpose this object is made yeah many answers coming up with so many answers have we are having like let's move to the answer slide it's this person uh and the answer is tokyo 2020 olympic torch olympic torch can be accepted so next question out here alexis grasses Uh, sorry alexis Gar alexio garcia one of the explorers who shipwrecked in juan de arde solis expedition in 1516 heard about a country which had mountains full of a valuable element so he organized an expedition where he collected several objects and gifts of that element although he died during that expedition the gurani people who were part of the expedition took those objects back and spread this legend however all expeditions failed to find these mountains uh, mountains uh, but this place was named after that element and what's the name of the country uh, even i didn't name need the name of the okay the country has been asked and we need the country so let me explain once again this question so this person alexio garcia he was on an one of those explorer who was on a expedition in juan uh, diaz de solis expedition in 1516 and he had heard about a country which uh, which had mountains full of a particular element so this country has been named after this element and the rest like he, this person alexio garcia uh, died during this expedition but the gurani people uh, who were part of this expedition uh, took part uh, of this uh, expedition and they brought back the objects back home and spread this legend however this um, all expeditions fail to find these mountains so what is this name of the place name of the place country so the answer here so the answer is argentina named after uh, silver argentum okay so um Man up! Can you please uh, like uh, it's a hyperlink, so you can just click on the image uh, after I read the question. So there are the only these are the only four occurrences in IPL. IPL, as you all know, Indian Premier League, and there is no such occurrence in international cricket. These are from two thousand eight and two thousand nine IPL editions. What's unique in these four dismissals? Something which is very rare to see. so the image follows so this are these are the image uh, shikhar dhawan mohammed kaif prem smith rahul dravid so let me explain the question once again so these are only four occurrences till now in uh, ip in the ipl so it's quite unique because of a certain event uh, certain occurrence like what is this special so special about this thing all pop can we explain like what you want to say dhoni was involved it's quite obvious since like dhoni has been mentioned in four of the uh, that events like in the pic you can see so what was the so special so let me read out certain answers here arunab bharadwaj says dhoni bowler xyz abc says dhoni bowler edu talk says dhoni was bowler subscribe kkb says dhoni was the bowler paras mahalik says sorry dhoni was the fielder okay uh, sukrit agarwal says again csk bowlers dhoni as bowler dhoni was the fielder a uh, finder dhoni as fielder dhoni was fielded dhoni was the fielder every time dhoni was involved then ms dhoni was the fielder okay let's check the answer many answers here 
so dhoni took all these catches as an outfield fielder and not as a wicket wicket keeper his usual position so what happened is that parthiv patel in this edition was appointed as like was in csk and he was like uh, wicket keeping for the team for all 20 overs and dhoni was appointed as the fielder of them so dhoni used to be the fielder for all these four things and many matches it's quite uh, like dhoni used to be the wicket keeper but in this rare occurrences you can see as dhoni as fielders and he dismissed these particular batsmen that's it so many answers many are correct okay so identify the font name um letter five letter word graph uh, developed from the signature of a creative individual also name the individual yeah the picture is a big hint here you can check out the font in this uh, pic like uh, if you can guess out the answer it's quite good quite easy question but you need to work out a bit okay so this is a style of font a font style it is a five letter word and which is followed by word graph and uh, it was developed from the signature of a particular person who is very creative and he is involved with us in a with all of us all uh, all kids actually Okay. 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 Let's check the answer. So it's Walto Graf, named after Walt Disney. As I said, uh, he is related with us in uh, related with us kids in a big way. So Walt uh, Disney was, you know. how he was related and these uh, were the font style inspired by him okay uh, walto graf named after walt disney the seventh question out here we have around 15 questions in total uh, we are targeting to finish it before 9 to 9 10 okay the doomed relationship which started in x and that is how people knows knows this and the thing goes on but every time the melting action but every time the melting doors are open and they are here in the hurt and the hurt goes on the relationship did not last for all these years it ended up in x itself with the separation of y and z due to the iconic tragedy so what is this iconic tragedy you will get the answer if you know the tragedy identify x y and z so let me explain it uh, briefly uh, so this is about a uh, doomed relationship Uh, which started in a particular place called x a particular object called x what do you say and if you know x you are getting the answer and then that is how the people knows this and the thing goes on but every time the melting doors are opened they are here in the heart and the heart goes on so it's quite a emotional story out here so they were these two particular people were separated after this incident if you know the incident oh uh, one thing there are three uh, three things in the question if you know any one also then you are getting the answer so try for all three so neela goswami says uh, rn13 neela goswami says romeo and juliet sukrit agarwal says uh, okay you need hint so it's a tragedy you know quite a famous tragedy it will bring tears to our eyes so jen kumar says titanic rose and shack okay paul pop says titanic sinking r and 13 nila goswami titanic rose and shack Uh, dev mehta says romeo juliet abhishek adhikari says titanic rose jack abhigyan sandalya says titanic rose and jack okay let's check the answer so it's uh, obviously uh, titanic jack and rose many correct answers here so x is titanic y is jack and z is rose as i said like if you know x then you will know y and z and if you also know y then 
you will get x and z so like if you you need to know in only one and you will get the both other two so next question please okay so connect the following images this is here yeah, certain posters so what's common between these okay we are this is a start question okay no extra points just for tie breaking if any tie occurs so the big bang theory the iron man 2 in please yeah please. Okay, hence uh, something very much common, exact. Like someone was there in four of these movies, and he is one of those most influential person in the world at this time. My mobile got slow. Let's see if we are getting any answers. Yum. Okay, let's check the answer. Elon Musk cameos. Yep, many answers. Correct answers here. Elon Musk uh, has made his cameo role in four of these movies. So next move to the next question. Chaurasi Kutia is an ashram close to the North Indian city of Rishikesh in the state of Uttarakhand. It is located on the eastern banks of the Ganges River, opposite the Muni Kireti area of Rishikesh in the foothills of the Himalayas. The site was leased from the State Forestry Department of Uttar Pradesh in 1961. It sits on a 150 feet, 46 meter high cliff, uh, cliff overlooking uh, the Ganges River. On a hill known, yeah, only Elon Musk will do. Uh, on a hill known as Manikut and comprised fourteen acres, fifty two thousand meters square of land surrounded by jungle, which world famous uh, Saint taught here. What is the other name for this ashram? So I need this other other name for this ashram, which is a uh, a common name. You know, many of you might know this ashram with this name. and a very world famous saint taught here and um, this is a chaurasi kutia location has been given out here and uh, it's in the north indian city of rishikesh in the state of uttarakhand located on the eastern bank of the ganges river opposite the muni kireti area of rishikesh it was uh, leased uh, from the state forestry department of uttar pradesh in 1961 it sits on a 150 feet uh, 46 meter high cliff Overlooking at the overlooking the Ganges River on a hill known as Manikut and comprises fourteen acres, fifty two thousand meters square of land surrounded by jungle. Yeah, so I need answers for this question. Uh, how do we commonly know this place, or who taught here? Oh, I need both. And who taught here? Okay, okay, many answers here. Let's see the answer. So it is Maheshi Maheshogi and Beetles Ashram. so mahar it is said that maharshi ji taught uh, beetles in this ashram and maharshi mahesh yogi ji was like the founder of transcendental Medici meditation tm so he is a world famous saint and this place is where like maharshi ji used to taught and this is this has been named beetles as it is said that uh, beetles like uh, had gained their trading from maharshi ji at this place so let's check the next question next question please everything okay mahana are you there
so yeah we have actually got the answers you all have read it so the answer is is gone and uh, let's move to the next question so the next question question number 11 out here so jagdish basudev is an indian yogi an author of several uh, books he has books he has received padma vibhushan from the government of india in 2017 for his work towards uh, social welfare how do we better know him in this uh, time uh, of the pandemic he like uh, he has influenced many of us he is like who is he actually so we better know him as something else but his original name is jagdish basudev and he has also received the padma vibhushan and uh, we are getting many answers um, yeah yeah we are not blocking that question since like you know you have all have given the correct answer and it was our fault with the network issue so everything was okay not again again there has been network issues here just a moment as we check out what is the issue with yeah the answer is sadguru and uh, this particular person sadguru is in the news not actually in the news but he has been influencing many of us and in this pandemic uh, like he has been teaching on various topics out here so let's see the next question so the question out here is uh, one minute uh, so this player uh, anapthalums anamthal sorry anopthalmus x is a blind beetle found in only 15 caves in slovenia named after one of the most popular polarizing figures in modern day history this uh, species was discovered by uh, oscar shelby uh, in 1933 even sent a letter to show his gratitude but i am not sure if uh, shelby's real intention was to honor him because the first part of the latin name can be translated as blind so this uh, first part an ophthalmus or it's like it uh, it was translated into blind so it's not very sure like this particular discoverer was trying to you know provide give his gratitude or was he trying to insulting this particular person so his real intentions are unknown so this species is now on the verge of extinction thanks to the uh, memorial memorabilia collectors of the personality which peaked after the world war 2 today there is a black market dealing in the species with some of them going for about 2000 dollars some say that the beetle becoming extinct would not be such a bad thing considering the controversial name it has unfortunately rendered so identify x just fill up the blank and add an i if you will get it so if you know what is this uh, who after whom this uh, particular thing has been named uh, this beetle has been named then add a i to this word and you would get the answer so this particular person after whom this has been named is quite a polarizing character in the modern history he is like a very controversial person so i need who is this uh, person and we have some answers please so this question go, uh, got unanswered uh, so answer is hitler and uh, it is has been named after hitler and this uh, beetle is hitleri and ophthalmus hitleri so next see the next question so given is the picture on the next uh, slide of a lizard yeah this is the lizard uh can i have the question please yeah it's of a lizard 
uh, this lizard is a geological mystery it's not the only haunt and all but it is the most famous one it got its common name dash lizard due to a certain physical characteristic which normally you don't see in lizard scientists started studying it in 1956 and uh, then after almost 40 years uh, no ever saw this lizard people were beginning to think that uh, maybe they have gone extinct but this turned out to be a lie when a group of uh, bird watchers spotted one of these lizards so give me the common name or simply fill in the blanks so i need the answer which is uh, named after a particular thing again because of a particular phys- physical appearance characteristic so fill in the blanks or give me the common name so the basically the thing it here is that this uh, this lizard is a geological mystery it is not only the one, only haunt uh, and all but it is the most famous one uh, it got its common name uh, due to a certain physical characteristic which normally don't see in lizards scientists started studying it in 1956 and then for almost 40 years no ever uh, saw this being but again this was turned out to be lie uh, because uh, this lizard was spotted by some bird watchers so what is this thing yeah spelling mistakes are okay till the time the uh, pronunciation comes out and we have got many answers yeah let's check the answer so the answer is pinocchio lizard uh, spelling mistakes will be acceptable till the time your word is pronouncing the same as ours okay um let's see the next question gandhi smriti formerly known as birla house or birla bhavan was the place where mahatma gandhi spent his last days of his life and was assassinated on 30th january 1948 it uh, its address is 5x where x refers to the name of the road it stands on x was formerly called as albuquer albuquer road but now has an alpha numeric sounding name which is quite appropriate considering that gandhi smith is situated here identify x okay So this uh, place called Gandhi Smriti, formerly known as the Birla House or Birla Bhavan, was the place where Mahatma Gandhi spent his last days, and uh, before he was assassinated. So the address of this place is five X, where the X stands for the name of the road it stands on. First, it was known as the Albuquerque Road, but now has an alpha numeric sounding, which is quite acceptable since the it is the place where Gandhi Smriti is situated. You know. so identify x many answers here so it is the 30 january road 30 january that is 30th january road it is the day when like mahatma gandhi you know was assassinated by nathuram godse so okay many answers we will check the answers later after the quiz uh, so here is the last question before we move to the last question uh, bharav can you go to the previous slide once so we hope that you all like this quiz uh if you like one to ask something then we are we have one minute you can ask anything if you want yeah january road let's see we'll check other answers uh, at first and then we will like see if it will be okay or not okay uh yeah if you want to ask something or give us your valuable feedbacks uh so Okay, let's see the next question at first. After that, we'll have a discussion. Uh, so, with which Indian state would you associate these lion-like dragon gods called Kangla Shah? It also features on the official emblem of the state government. So, this is the picture here. So, with which state would you associate this uh, lion-like figures, lion-like dragon gods called the Kangla Shah? Uh, it also features on the official emblem of the state government. So, this state was in the news because of a certain event that is going on. so what's the answer let's see it's manipur and it was in the news like you know this uh, the first medalist in the tokyo olympics mirabai chanu like from india the first medalist mirabai chanu belonged to the space manipur yeah yeah many answers here so yeah nilav homeland of mirabai chanu manipur manipur okay manipur manipur kuch some said gujarat fine okay so the manipur is the answer so thank you for joining us
hope you like the quiz criticism and feedbacks are always welcome thanks junak nice quiz session uh, thank you junak uh, please give us your valuable feedbacks in the comment section or here we are here for the next one minute to two minutes uh, if you want to ask something you can ask us thank you sukrit agarwal so just we request you to uh, subscribe this channel since we are planning to upload few more videos in the coming days um yeah with a uh, few more set of questions and uh, yeah criticism only to net yeah uh net yeah you know the network issues we can't do anything with the network and even when it comes to live streaming you need a good quality network sometimes it turns to be up and down and uh if it is stable that's good and we must say it would, would be our luck if we uh every time the network is good you could have conducted the quiz by google meet using google forms yeah it is possible uh we used to do it earlier but you know google meet and google forms there's a proper way of uh, conducting our online quiz youtube uh, conducting like we planned uh, to do something on youtube and so we uh, went for doing this particular thing uh we used to do uh, last year we conducted uh, four to five quizzes yeah four to five quizzes on this um, google meet zoom and all yeah so that's the thing uh, we will be like uh, doing such quizzes also in the future be uh, stay tuned with us uh, subscribe this channel just a minute uh, subscribe our channel and like for stay tuned with us for like for getting the updates very soon and um, yeah we'll try to announce the results tonight uh, at least uh, till 10:30 to 11 uh, you like you will get it before that we we will try for that um, and uh, we will try to give you the individual scores if possible uh or the first five uh first three or two five winners will decide it accordingly there have been many participants out here 16 are still there thank you for being there till the end and uh, for those who have missed this uh, live session uh, the video will be available in the channel you can check it out you can tell us your uh, valuable feedbacks in the comment section um and stay tuned with us subscribe this channel for further updates and notifications also like this video and um, share this among your friends family relatives and near and dear ones parents and all thank you everyone okay so with this uh, we end this quiz and uh,